So you guys are probably thinking to yourselves, oh no, they're cutting into the boat again. <laughs> <laughs> but this here is uh, the plan all along. Um, <clears throat> on the fishtail combing, we have a 45 on the bottom angle of the, of the combings and that prevents any railers or anything you're lifting out from catching up on the edges of it. Yeah, so it, it definitely um, makes it a little bit easier if, if the railer's off just a little bit, it'll, you know, usually come out or... And, uh, and then the other reason too is wrapping, wrapping the glass here. You can't wrap it on a, on a sharp 90. We could just, uh, we could put like a half round on these, but that's actually a lot of work. And, uh, it's one thing to do inside corners like this and layers like this that, that you have gravity working in your favor. It's a completely different one to do it on an overhanging edge for a 90. We know that from experience. Um, uh, a 45 on here is just going to make it, the transition just that much easier. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. <coughs> Okay, we're just gonna get this positioned here. Um, I just have a couple of blocks for spacers. This is a, a little bit oversized for what it's gonna be because we will be tabbing these in, which is gonna probably narrow this gap by around a quarter inch, somewhere in there. So a couple of simple blocks to set the gap. Should make things easy. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have a frog in my throat. So, stick that in there. And stick that one up there. And then I have some big uh, cowboy clamps. These are really nice when you got to clamp something that's in a ways. Got some depth to it, so throw that bad boy up there. A little bit loose, so we'll just give this a tap with the hammer. It's probably gonna fall down, so watch your ears. And we'll do the same down here. I think this can actually be tightened up a little bit. So that seems pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Slight slip. Yeah. All right. Those are pretty beefy looking. Yeah, that really, uh, that gives us a lot of reassurance here that we're never gonna have any problems with this bulkhead. I'm sure it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. I think we'll add one more brace in also. I, I don't know if we'll double it. It'll probably just be a single one, but the strength will come also from the tabbing. Once that's tabbed in there, it makes a very, very rigid structure. So let's see, I'm just gonna roughly eyeball this. Looks like about 
seven and a half ish inches should work. Just measure over on the other side, put a couple of marks, and poke some holes through our nice bulkhead. Yeah, so we're just gonna uh, we'll put some resin on the back side of these. Um, it's just foam, there's no laminate there, so we'll put some resin on there and let it kind of soak into the foam, and then we'll hit it again and just putty it up. Put that on there, uh, get it positioned and uh, screwed in tight, and then we'll let it set. We'll come back later and tab it in. Um, the big thing right now is, is we'll just tab in the bottom down here, up into here somewhere, and then that way we can position our pieces of laminate. <clears throat> we'll have to come back in and trim these now. But these will come in here like that. And we're finally to the point where we can start installing these after that little tiny bit of tabbing down there. Screw these in, glue them into to both sides, and then we'll be able to pour foam. Same way as these sumps, we'll just drill holes and pour the foam right in there. And then things will actually start to look good. It's actually fixed stuff because there's like nowhere for the shavings to go. Yeah, I was gonna say that center web is like a half inch thick in there too. Or close to it. So we'll just wet this out and then uh, just let it sit here for a few minutes and kind of let that foam absorb this resin. Um, it's not really going to take that much, but it just kind of lets it get down there and penetrate uh, any pores. This is all closed uh, cell foam, so it doesn't really absorb it like other types of foam would. But if you just give it a couple of minutes and then coat it again, then you know that you have a, a good... Uh, You'll get good adhesion and and it's all soaked in real good. So is that two coats? Huh? Is that two coats or one coat? Yeah, just uh, it looks a little bit dry in a few spots, but like it doesn't have to be like soaking wet, right? Yeah, we don't want it soaking otherwise. But... Yeah, I just get these spots that maybe look a little bit dry. I guess we don't have to be too sparing with this stuff. We just use the squeeze out in the corner somewhere. Yeah. All right, got our chunk puttied up. Time for the fun part. up here, tap in a little bit. There you go. 
So yeah, I've got some squeeze out here. I'm gonna throw the level on it, check it for straightness, make sure we didn't bow our wall over or anything like that. I think it's got a little bit of a, well, yeah. looks good. Looks good. All right, what are we doing? Well, we're just gonna poke a couple of holes in here. I got my little cup of reusable screws here. Looks like some of these might go in for the last time. <laughs> Resin filled heads and stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. So we'll get one more use out of them and this will be their final resting place for a while. So I just got a little countersink. Um, it used to have a bit on it. They seem to break off a lot, so uh, it's not really worth it to replace them yeah. for us. I think we just sharpened up the little stub that was in there to have a point on it so it didn't walk all over. Yeah. You know what, what would be good is actually just to get a little stubby bit on here. I bet that that would do okay. But they come with a longer bit and they are easy to snap, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you're doing fiberglass projects because if you're drilling through wood and then you hit fiberglass underneath and that bit pushes off to the side, pop, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to dig your bit out and that's annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a lot of times we'll just hit it with this and then in the case of like thin wood, like these little angle pieces that will probably split, we'll just go ahead and, and, uh, and pre-drill it after. But, but these are pretty nice. So I'm just gonna put a couple of holes in here. I don't think that we're really gonna put any resin here. Maybe we'll mix up some budget putty and throw it back behind there. We gotta do the same coming down here and the other side too. And then we'll just come back, we'll just knock off this little lip right here and round it. Um, 45s are always nice to lay glass onto. It, it just goes in really well. Uh, Otherwise, you should have probably like at least a, a half inch radius at a minimum. I think a guy can probably get away with a three eighths, but the tighter the radius, the harder it is to get that that cloth to lay down tight on it. Mm -hmm. Especially like 90, because it has the straight strands to where if it were coming over the top, they like to kind of bubble up like that. You have to really babysit them until they start kicking off. Yeah, by 90 he means a, a 90, zero 90 de degree cloth that, that the uh, strands are going perpendicular to each other. Or I guess plus minus 45 lays really, really well. You can actually drape that on, on some kind of complex shapes and it does pretty good. But 90 really does like straight runs and radiuses. That looks better already, Dad. I know, it does, right? Isn't that weird? It was just hideous before. Oh, that's got no chip on it. It's gotten clipped off. Yeah, so I'll probably just mix up a little bit of budget putty and stick underneath here. better already. Not the best fit up. That's why they make putty. At least for this job. So I'm just going to go mix some up I think. I'm just going to mix up a little bit of resin and just slather it on here. And then just take the grindings from the foam when we cut it. 
we collected a whole bunch of it. I'm just gonna mix that up and I'll just put a little bit on the back side of that, um, fill in those big gaps right there. That'll plug that up good and uh, and then I can come back in and I'll just feather out the edges and everything with the grinder and putty up any holes, any, any little cracks with, with just some regular putty and that'll all be ready to go. It already looks a lot better. All right, so we're uh, laminating this piece of panel here. This is a chunk of our bulkhead. One side is laminated already. This side is gonna be glued onto that bulkhead that's already in today. Here, I'll pass it down to Dad. He can show you a little bit. I'm just up here wetting this out. And so I get a layer of mat, a layer of 45 on there. and. Uh, then we'll pass them on down to Dad here, and we'll get in. Yeah, I think we kind of changed our game plan a little bit. We were going to wait on these two pieces of bulkhead right here until after we put in the shaft, but uh, the two pieces are each 40 inches wide, which leaves about a 16-inch gap in between. So that's plenty of room for us to move back and forth and also to bring our shafts in. So we thought we'd just go ahead and work on getting them installed and then we can get everything tabbed in, we can get the foam in here and get the skin down and we can essentially finish everything from about right here all the way back up to the hatch combing on the fore and aft fish holes. So that'll be really nice. Um, I guess off camera the last couple of days we've just been working on tying in the skin here. We didn't catch any of us putting in this uh, this laminate here. It was just kind of fiddly work. Uh, but we glued it in, we put some screws in to hold it in place, top and bottom while it's set in place. And now it's down. It's uh, essentially the same stuff that we just pulled out of our mold, just two layers of uh, 2408, 90 degree uh, cloth. So that gives us a good structure to once again, just we'll cut some holes in here and just pour foam right in there and just let it rise up. And as it fills the void, it can just push its way up. Be able to get some down through the very top up there. And then once we get up towards the top, we'll just have to use uh, some spray foam just in the can to fill up the rest of those voids. But it's all looking real good. Uh, we got the other side of our uh, bin bore holder in place yesterday. So that's tied in solid now. You can see the gap that it leaves so a bin board can slide in there. It won't be able to get pushed out. And uh, super happy um, to start seeing this come together. Matt got this pillar glassed in the other day. I think we might have showed that. I'm not really sure. Uh, nope, it's got I a couple of layers it. up here on the ceiling to start tying it in. We'll throw a couple more down on there to reinforce it. Uh, this stuff here is all good. It's got a couple layers on it. We're not looking for really good structural strength here. Um, we're just looking for waterproofing. So that one's pretty much done. Uh, this side we have to get the 45 in there still, but you can kind of see where it, it started and how it's ending, so. Let's see, I think that one's all tabbed in over there um, to, to where this meets right here. Still need to tab in that side right there. That'll probably come next after getting this in place. Um, it's all prepped, it's all ground down, it's keyed up real good. We'll just give it a quick wipe with some acetone, get all the dust off of it, and then that can be uh, tabbed in along with this new section here. Beautiful. You got a brush going on? Nope, yeah. no brush. Okay. 
I'm gonna grab a brush and make me some putty. All right, nice. So you really gotta watch out for your condensation coming off your mask. You kind of see that white spot that's water on your laminate. So just give yourself a rag with some acetone soak in it and dab it off like that. Evaporate that water out of the fabric. Super annoying. That uh, both removes the water and the resin. So then you just come through with your roller again and soak it back in. It always looks a little weird after too, so it does probably leaves a tiny bit, but whatever. strong back so it doesn't pull into our laminate on here. These are going through the wall over into a little block of wood. Going through the wall into the block of wood and that's squishing the two layers together like that. Yeah that's that's not me getting tighter than that so okay. All right, so let's return to the foam cans here. Gonna do a little pour. So we got those spots prepped on the aft side of the bulkhead. We'll go ahead and pour some foam in there. How this goes. Now start filling in these voids. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the sumps and just get kind of a, a base coat there and it'll do two things. It'll insulate it from the hole so the next ones will get uh, more yield out of them, more volume out of them. And, uh, and I think we just want to end a couple of inches from the top of the skin and then we'll put that that skin in there and we'll get it locked down and we'll drill holes in it and just pour it through. Ready? You got the timer? Go to 20 seconds? Max? I think it was like 15. Alright, let's go. Stern. Alright, here we go. It leaks. Is this stuff getting hot? This one. Ten, ten, two, one, fifteen. I can't see. 
see anything. Oh boy. Beautiful. Got his scraper. We have his mesh of scraper. Yeah, the cold hole definitely slows down that reaction. See, nothing to fear now. Nothing to it but to do it. True, true. So we spent about an hour so far getting a thin layer down here on the forward side of the bulkhead. Just to provide a thermal barrier uh, against the cold hull. Pour a little bit more in here now, but yeah, good to get that little thin layer down so that it kind of uh, helps the foam go off a little bit better. So right now I'm back here just uh, Stuck our heat pipes down in here on this last little bit in the aft fish hold. So here in a few minutes, let this warm up some. We'll pour our, our pre-fill layer. Right, T? Oh. So we've been just chipping away the last few days. Um, over here, you can't really see it, but um, got this partition laminated again. Bring you back to the forward side of it. Got that all laminated out. Finished out this uh, ceiling piece here. Uh, this is just painted with some resin, so don't be fooled. It's not done yet. Get to that uh, hopefully in the next couple days. And here in the back hold, we got our uh, our combing wrapped around the bottom side into the ceiling. The aft, the aft side was done already. 
a while back, but got this side. Just got the forward side to do, but that's gonna wait until we have our chunk of bulkhead in here uh, because it it's a tight fit. It slides into the slot down there, goes in, and then the top side swings in and will be captured by the last chunk of uh, plywood there. At which point we'll glue that in and wrap that into the bulkhead. So you can see this mess of uh, spray foam and mix of blue board as well up here in the ceiling. That was just a little leftover void from when we actually initially framed up the deck. That was our where we started, so never got that foamed in. But uh, aside from that, we also got the top of the bulkhead here tabbed in fully. So this is done right there. Just got to wrap around these braces and um, yeah, tie in this stuff. Uh, probably pre-laminate another little chunk for right there. Glue that in. That's just waiting until we actually put pour foam into that hole. Um, it'll probably be pretty difficult to get pour foam to cooperate with us up in that corner, so we'll probably spray foam it once the pour foam is up in there somewhere. And uh, spray foam the back corner there, stick a pre laminated piece of fiberglass on, glued in, and just poke a couple holes in it with a hole saw and spray foam through it is the plan there. So yeah, all kinds of things going on. Um, it's mostly all stuff you've seen already, so I haven't filmed any of it, but uh, yeah, chipping away. So anyway, uh, we'll pour this foam here and uh, get our base layer down. Very satisfying to see. I wasn't expecting such a nice pour. Maybe a couple more pours here. One more small one in the back there and just kind of level it off a little bit. Not putting too much. We're not going all the way up because we still got to put our shaft alley covers on and tie the glass in down the side. So that's the reason we're not pouring all the way up to the top right now. That'll come later. One little pit right here. Uh, we'll get to that one a little bit later. We'll bring you back after that. So we just got this back area prepped here. Tristan is up cutting cloth for me, mixing resin. Dad's mixing me a batch of putty. Just a little bit of fairing left here. We've slapped all of our excess putty here. Uh, whenever we had a 
a little extra from a job, so not very much faring left to do. So, yeah, just uh, throw a little bit on these hole saw holes and just a slight dip right there, some screw holes, and yeah, get rolling on some cloth. One side done. Well, not fully done. Got this curve left here, about 30 inches. Just waiting for this foam to cure up. It's still uh, soft on the inside there, so chop those little nubs off and uh, putty over them and flatten it out and lay up the next one. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to 45 our combing here on the forward hold similar to what we did on the back hold there uh, then we'll be able to uh, prepare it to be tied into the ceiling on the underside so not much different from the last process just gonna run a skill saw along it with the uh, 45 degree angle and uh, yeah clean it up with a the grinder after uh, I'm gonna work on Getting these uprights laminated today. Probably won't get to all of them, but there's a little patch there at the bottom to glass in, and just a little lump right here where this uh, plywood doesn't go all the way back. Just gonna cut a piece of foam to 45 down to the bulkhead to make it a little cleaner, easier to glass too. Yesterday we got all this, uh, all this, I guess skin integrated to the bulkhead so this is all done on this side and the half side and on the starboard side over here so pretty much here out is basically done just uh, gotta come back through kind of uh, I guess maybe just patch holes or uh, we have these combings left to do here I'm gonna try and get to this today but we'll see what happens yeah, this first side's ready to go. I have all the gel coat <clears throat> ground back and prepped from the old stuff. Uh, we just need to do a little bit of work on here. I think I'll knock a little bit of that corner off mm -hmm. and then we'll add in a piece right here to 45 it and give a nice transition. We can bring this in partway until our last piece is installed at least. And then other over here, I still gotta get this ground and cleaned up. Yeah, the last uh, last big grind kind of 
Yeah, it's big dirty grind. Things have really come along a lot this last week. We're super happy with our progress. Um, but uh, couldn't be happier with this. The way that foamed out was just perfect. Worked great just like we expected. No big surprise there. Trim up this edge a little bit. Just kind of rough cut before. Yeah, I've struck a line on there for me to follow. It's pretty close. There's just a few little spots where it's a little waverly. The, the smoother and flatter it is, the easier it is to glass. So it's worth it to take uh, just a minute or two. Tighten it up. Yeah. 